And here's your top seven before seven. First off, John Scalzi's first alert forecast, John. So we have a shower, a thunderstorm out in Gulf waters. We can see that from the shoreline, but no worries. It's not coming toward us. It's going away from us. We don't have much in the way of a rainfall chance this morning, so out the door, take your sunglasses, but also carry your first alert weather app because you'll need it later in the day. There'll be some thunderstorms around as we head into the afternoon and evening. Humid, mostly sunny. Feels like temperatures coming in around 100 to 105 today. Late day showers and thunderstorms with a temperature currently of 76 degrees. Don't forget, take us along with the First Alert app, as well as on social media and mysungoes.com. Back to you. All right, thank you, I'm John. I'm staying inside today. <laughs> that sounds hot. <laughs> Number two, checking the roads. Some buildup there in Manatee County on 301 as you cross over State Road 70. Otherwise, no major issues right now on Suncoast Roads. Number three, Sarasota County's Mosquito Management Office is working on limiting the number of mosquitoes in the county. And a reminder, don't forget to protect yourself and your pets by waiting to go outside after sunrise and before sunset. Number four, the entire boys soccer team and the coach are now recuperating in Thailand. Work begins on their recovery in a nearby hospital. They're expected to stay monitored for the next few weeks. Number five, President Trump is in Brussels at the annual NATO summit where he's asking for allies to pay more for their defense. So far, leaders have criticized the commander in chief for how he's been handling the situation. Number six, Bradenton police warn of a recent increase in scam phone calls that threaten people with arrest. So never give out personal information to anybody who claims they are with the Internal Revenue Service. And finally, number seven, what's trending? Sadness in my heart. So excited to hear that Disney is doing another Indiana Jones movie. Not so excited to hear that they have pushed it all the way back to 2021. Steven Spielberg is back. He's going to be directing. He said production was actually supposed to start at the end of this year. Harrison Ford is back as Indy. He's going to be 79 when the movie finally hits theaters in 2021. It says it's going to be the last time he will ever play Indiana Jones.